Nick Job from Royala Shorthorns, Yeovil. We run a Shorthorns stud in conjunction with my parents. Um, I moved out here from, from another property in 2000. Um, for the first few years, we didn't see any pigs at all. It would probably be only 12, 12, 15 years ago, we started to see a couple of pigs, and then the numbers have just gradually increased, and now we're seeing big numbers. Initially, it was a bit of a novelty because we'd not seen them, but that, that lasted for about two days. Um, then, yeah, so we're straight in trying to control them. We're starting to see a lot of poachers trying to come in on our property without permission. Um, and that's becoming a nearly as big an issue as the pigs in terms of we're finding, you know, we'll find gates not only open, but gates pulled away and taken back. You know, some of the bulls on this place are worth over $60,000. And if you, get, if you get two bulls that the gates are open, they get in joining each other, you can have broken legs and worse. My name's James Moses. I'm a biosecurity officer at Molong, uh, which is part of the local land services of the Central Tablelands. So we first uh, worked in with Nick um, with supplying traps and cameras um, and grain just to get him started. He was having um, trouble with pigs and he's one of his back paddocks and just worked in with him with a few different techniques that he hadn't tried before with his previous trapping um, just to help him really get that good result when he did set the traps. You know, we've, we've used LLS traps and LLS, um, uh, we, we've tried baiting stations from the LLS. Um, we we're in contact with James fairly often and yeah, to try and see different methods and, and keep on top of the problem. The guys I work with are great. So yeah, we, we've had really good communication with them. Prior to that, it was just, you know, on our own trying to, to do what we could, you know, and occasionally take a dog out and try and catch some or, or shoot them and things like that. But that, that wasn't getting on top of the problem. We've got to kill 70, 73% every year just for the numbers to be stable. One of the most important tools the LLS has given us is the Feral Scan app. So we're able to report every time we see a pig. So they, they touch base. Um, you know, when, if I put in numbers and if I've seen a big group, I'll get a call, okay, you know, to see more, are they the same group running around? Yeah, if they're different pigs. So yeah, we, we get constant feedback. I think what should be celebrated out here is that, is that they've tried a few different techniques. It's not just been the one solution um, fixes the problem. Um, we've trapped, we've looked at bait stations, um, opportunistic ground shooting, um, and it's all these combinations that have really helped get a handle on the pig numbers out here. And also the data from from Nick putting on feral scan has helped us plan our aerial shoots and where we target areas. Through the Feral Fighters program, we um, have been supplying free grain, um, free trap hire, free camera hire, um, and free bait stations. And that's really helped farmers and landholders just take that next step of, of doing control because, um, you know, it's. It's not easy and it's time consuming and they've got a lot of jobs on so if we can give them that little bit of a helping hand, um, yeah, that just gets the ball rolling and once, once it's started, you know, it's much easier to maintain that and get a hold of pig numbers. I love getting out and, and talking to landholders and, you know, and, and helping them, you know, we, we've got things now, we've got tools, we've got knowledge that we can pass on that can help, that help landholders help them, which helps their business, which helps everyone.